Hi, I'm Steve Smith. I'm a tennis teaching professional. I'm with student athlete Santi Garcia. Santi has been working hard at proving his game. He's actually going to be a freshman at the Air Force Academy starting this fall. We're also with Boomer, the tennis robot, the one and only, designed by inventor Dave Jordan. Dave loves tennis, and one thing that Dave and I have in common is we understand a theme from the great Vic Braden. The late Braden, the definition for tennis, according to Vic, was hitting targets. But before we get into that, we'll go through a two-part story on the Boomer, but let's start with some music, because the Boomer not only can talk, the Boomer can play music. That's good. All right, so one thing the Boomer can do is do a wide assortment of drills, like any ball machine, actually better than, than the typical ball machine, that you can just come out and, and use it as a ball machine but it's far more sophisticated than just a ball machine. For years and years, what we've done is put players through an assessment. We film all their essential strokes. We film them playing a match, but also we put them through two skills tests. Now, Dave Jordan's programmed the Boomer to do a, a lot more than just two skills tests, but for years we fed 25 shots to tennis players to the four quadrants on the tennis court, the designated targets, and it's very common for a tournament player, some young kid who's 13, 14 years old, they come in and they only get 10 out of 25. And that's with a courtesy feed. Now, the boomer can feed the ball where it hits it Mach 10. It hits it like Federer and, and Djokovic. But just off a of courtesy feed, many players, they cannot hit the target. Now, another uh, skill test that we do, we call it the tiebreaker test one, tiebreaker test two. It's all a program, boomer is a computer. Boomer has a brain. Now, with the skills test, again, it's not to be doom and gloom or pessimistic, be, to be negative, but it's amazing how many young tournament players, they'll take the skills test, they have to hit six shots to score one point in the tiebreaker test. And very often, off a courtesy feed, the score is 0707. Why is because tennis is confusing. It is actually totally confusing. A, a Bradenism. When crummy plays crummier, who wins crummy? Crummy doesn't know they're crummy. Now that's just to have a little bit of fun, it's not to call anyone crummy. But the person on the other side, they're measuring their skills against their opponent instead of against a target. So what we'll do is we're gonna show you Boomer hitting some balls. But let me say this, to make this work, Boomer's only $300 a month. What I would recommend is have students run fundraisers. One or two fundraisers a year, call it Sunrise to Sunset, a tennis marathon. Say you just get 10, 15 dedicated, goal-oriented juniors, and what they're gonna do is get sponsors. And the sponsors have to give them two or three dollars per hour for practicing 10 hours in a row. Then I would have it, and that's what we've done with Santi and, and one of his fellow students, Ryan Heider, is we've trained student assistants to program to run Boomer. And it's set with a video camera on court, it calls lines, it's an amazing, amazing tool. But let's take a minute and we'll have Santi uh, hit a few tennis balls. Hi, my name is Dave Jordan, I'm the inventor of Boomer. We're gonna start the 100 ball challenge which rates the person's forehand, backhand, forehand volley, backhand volley, overhead, and serve. All it takes is a W for workout. Workout menu. Select workout by using up and down arrows. Press enter to run selected workout. The 100 ball challenge is workout number one. So I enter one. Workout number one. And I hit Select enter. Select workout by using up and down arrows. Press enter to run selected workout. So I hit enter and the workout starts. Workout number one. Drill number 13. Let's get ready to rumble. 13. Let's get ready to rumble. Thank <laughs> you. 
serve to the Juice Corp. Service. In. Your serve to the Ad Corp. Service. Your serve to the Deuce Corp. Service. Deep. Your serve to the Deuce Corp. Service. Eighth. Your serve to the Ad Corp. Service. Hey, this is Dave Jordan. Uh Boomer's daddy again explaining the results of the 100 ball drill we just saw Santi do. Basically it scores every ball based on how many you get in, which is like the forehand, it threw him 15 balls, he got nine in, so he got 60% of them in. The balls that he got in, he averaged 58 miles an hour. The depth was 68%. Perfect is 100, which landed right in the baseline. The width was 39%, which is measured distance away from the center. So his total score is 3.2 on the back, on the forehand. Backhand, similar thing. He got 15 balls. He got 12 of them in. So he got 80%. So he got a much higher score. Comparable uh, depth and width. Same thing with the forehand volley. He got 10 forehand volleys. He got 8 of them in for 80%, which is excellent. He's hitting at 49 miles an hour. The depth is 61%. The width is 58%, got a score of 4.4. Same with the backhand volley, it charts everything. He did better on the backhand volley with a 5.4. Overheads, he got 10 of them, he got seven of them in. Average 90 miles an hour. Depth is 68%, the width is 20%, so he's hitting them mostly right down the middle, but it doesn't matter because he's hitting them so hard. On the serve, out of 16 serving opportunities, he didn't double fall a single time, so he gets 100% on that and he was averaging 100 miles an hour, and his uh, depth is measured from the service box, and uh, the width is from the center of the service box out. So he got very an excellent score on the serve, 6.6. .6. It averages all of those scores based on how many balls he hit of each stroke. His total cumulative score is 4.8. And that's his uh, first initial assessment. That's a short story on the boomer. For more information on the Boomer, just go to www.tennisrobot.com. But when it comes down to it, you want to be able to measure shot by shot, can you hit the target? What I would recap by saying is tennis coaches around the world have students run a practice-a-thon to pay for the machine and then have students run it. Energy makes energy. But the Boomer is a great tool to become a better tennis player.